full potential. Madam Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. I call the Honourable Louise Upston. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, and I want to uh, start by thanking uh, the Minister of Social Development, the Honourable Carmel Cipollone, um, for continuing this important work and for recognising uh, the, the huge significance of the use of data and evidence to change people's lives uh, and for supporting the incredibly important work of the Social Investment Agency. Uh, and I'll come back to that, um, Madam Speaker. And Madam Speaker, or as we transition to Mr Speaker, uh, I do also want to put on record my thanks to the Honourable Anne Tolley um, for uh, starting this process. So for those of you who have, um, have just tuned into this debate um, in this third reading, this is of, of course um, legislation that disestablishes um, or repeals the Families Commission Act of 2003. There's been a number of changes in the space of um, very important research into, into children and into families. It was originally the, um, the Families Commission. Then over time, the change was made for uh, it to become the Social Policy Evaluation um, Research Unit, or what we commonly called SUPERU. And then, as uh, the previous government geared towards social investment uh, as the vehicle for changing people's lives, uh, the Social Investment Agency was born. So as a result of a number of these changes, it's important to have legislation that repeals the initial legislation and uh, is then responsible for the decommissioning uh, of the Families Commission and of SUPERU. But I do want to uh, reassure members that the critical work that's been started, um, a lot of the research that's been undertaken uh, hasn't been lost. Um, it will be held. Uh, and it is really critical in terms of the ongoing work that this House is committed to, that the former government committed to, that the new government has picked up, uh, which is about improving the lives of all New Zealanders, with a particular focus on families and children. And, uh, Mr Speaker, I wanted to talk just uh, a little bit about one of the pieces of work that is being um, handed over and the Ministry of Social Development will now look after. And that is the Growing Up in New Zealand study. And we should be particularly proud in New Zealand um, of this study because it is seen as world-leading research. So it was started in 2008. 7,000 children um, and their families have been uh, studied. One of the things that's unique about it was that, that started with work uh, with parents before the children were born. Uh, it's uh, looking at um, a range of family dynamics, recognising that um, what was once a nuclear family is quite different now. So looks at um, the, the natural parents, um, subsequent partners of parents that are involved in the children's lives, focus on uh, them at before birth, at nine months, at two years uh, and at four years. And the intention of the study is to follow those children and those families until uh, the age of 21. And there are 16 government departments that are involved in that study and involved in um, both in terms of provision of data, uh, but then also the, the research and the interviews that are undertaken provide critical guidance for the government of the day um, for policy making and decisions for New Zealand families uh, across from one end of New Zealand to the other. So I'm very pleased that um, the government has continued with the Social Investment Agency, uh, that the government has continued with the place-based initiatives. Um, place-based initiatives are a really important piece of work that really look at local communities and social issues or challenges within those communities, hands them more of the decision making, using data and using evidence, to be able to have the greatest impact on some of the very uh, challenging areas uh, that affect uh, local families and um, children in particular. So I'm thrilled that the government has picked up that work um, that was started under our time. Um, that the Growing Up in New Zealand study 
is going to be carried on uh, under the responsibility of the Ministry of Social Development um, and that the place-based initiatives which embrace social investment around changing lives and creating opportunities uh, will be continued, Mr Speaker. Um, I do want to finish my contribution not only by thanking the current uh, Families Commissioner, Len Cook, um, but former Families Commissioners who have been involved in really critical work um, setting up the next phase of opportunities for New Zealand children, uh, and also to the Superu board members, uh, the Professor Sir Peter Gluckman, Dame Tariana Turia, Joanne Wilkinson and Hami Pirapi. Um, they have done substantial work for New Zealand. Uh, we owe them uh, a huge gratitude for what they have brought to our conversations around social investment uh, and around improving the lives of every young New Zealander. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, I call the Honourable Peni Henare. Tēnā Mr Speaker. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I stand to support my colleague and great minister, the Honourable